Bridging Live started in 2015 and it is Bridgewater Rain Ham Chapter and the acronym LIVE stands for Life is Valued Every Second. I was a patrol officer in a position called the uh, Proactive Enforcement and during that time I realized that there were a lot of families who were lost as far as how to get their loved ones help. So I started following up uh, with the families after the fact. A lot of the parents and loved ones expressed that they wanted a, um, a coalition local coalition to be able to meet. So Bridging Lives, our local coalition, is part of the larger Brockton Area Prevention Collaborative. And through that collaborative, we receive uh, local, state, and federal funding to address those addictive behaviors and substance abuse, uh, specifically around underage drinking, marijuana use, and tobacco. I got involved with Bridging Lives because I really liked the focus and the mission, and I liked that the, the central goal and mission really was around education. Bridging Lives has been um, an integral part of our school year. Even though it is uh, you know, supervised by adults and, and certainly supported by adults, uh, I think the best part about Bridging Lives is it really is a student organization made up of our own students, led by our own students, and having an impact on our own students. As youth members of the coalition, we participate in events from the Brockton Area Prevention Collaborative, such as the Be In The Know Youth Conference, as well as we participate in events from the 84 Movement, which is part of the Massachusetts Public Health Department. Our main thing was this um, presentation that we came up with that we shared to multiple schools in the region. It was about vaping and the bad effects of it, and we were happy when administration approved this policy change in our school, um, and that was pretty big for us because we were just students, and you know, like, students tend to think that, or youth tend to think that their voice doesn't matter, but that kind of proved that our voice did matter. The students involved with this, they do so much. They really organize well, they, they put it all together. The levels of interaction that they have with the younger students that I've seen. Uh, it is not just happening at the high school. Uh, the impact is being felt at the middle school. Although it's you know still in its infancy stages, our Bridging Lives uh, peer leaders have expanded to offering uh, programs and sharing information at the middle school level. We were also able to um, have the high school students, the peer leaders, come to our school and speak to our seventh and eighth graders about substance abuse and prevention. Being able to have that in education information available to the schools and have them push to the students I think is going to make a long lasting impact and it gets our younger generation involved in the problem and keeps hopefully the prevention aspect going. But it also helps us to then have partners with other agencies that can provide resources and support. Um, we've recently become involved with our senior citizens in the community. Hi, I'm Kathy Hayes. I'm the Outreach Coordinator at the Office of Elder Affairs here in Bridgewater. And Bridging Lives has been very instrumental in getting us resource materials. Teaching good health and care to the younger children will help them grow up with a better image of what they can be and what they can do with their lives. We also were involved in choosing and supporting a selection for the summer reading for all of our rising 11th and 12th graders here at the high school. Uh, it talks about Jared's uh, early life dealing with uh, some of those adverse childhood experiences. By engaging in this book, Hey Kiddo, uh, you know, they might be able to relate to that and they might feel more comfortable you know, reaching out and asking for help uh, by those caring adults around them. Years ago, everyone was embarrassed by this problem, thinking it was their own household and didn't want anyone to know. And it's so important to let them know that there, there's no shame there, that it's a disease, it is not a character flaw. Now I see it more that the community works together and it's less of a stigma and people aren't as ashamed as much. My message to anyone who's thinking about joining this community is that they got it going on. There's hope, there's resources. It is possible. Recovery is possible. So I think that's what I really want Bridging Lives to let the community know. So it is important. I, I think, you know, anytime we can work together uh, as a community uh, with the different organizations that can provide resources and support to our students, it, it's, it's a priority for us. We're so proud at the middle school level of the students that we see getting involved at the high school level and becoming leaders. Bridging Lives has opened up so many opportunities for me past high school um, and I'm so glad that I did the work I did with them and I do the work I do with them now. 
I want to leave an impact as how you can prevent these situations as well as stop students from using substances that they should not be, have access to as well as prevent access. Bridging Lives is one of the branches of the Brockton Area Prevention Collaborative that is made up of five different coalitions. The mission is prevent and reduce substance use by increasing awareness, providing education, and offering support within the community. 